Good morning. This is Pastor Tim Wells, pastor of Cross of Christ Lutheran Church in Aurora, Nebraska. If you live in the Midwest, I'm thinking, for sure if you live in our neck of the woods, uh, I hope that you're staying warm and staying safe. It is cold out there with some extremely low wind chills on top of what are already frigid temperatures. So I pray everyone's staying safe, staying warm. Yesterday, as we were talking about the Christmas story, we had the shepherds. They were left out in their fields watching their flocks at night. Well, with this cold weather, we don't want to leave them out in the fields. We need to bring them inside. So here we go, Luke chapter 2 today, verses 15 through 20. When the angels went away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. And they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. And when they saw it, they made known the saying that had been told them concerning this child. And all who heard it wondered at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured up all these things, pondering them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. So yesterday, the shepherds are watching their flocks, and the angel comes and says, I have good news of great joy. And then there's that angel host that says, glory to God in the highest. They disappear. What did the shepherds do next? They say, we got to go check this out. So they run into town. They run into Bethlehem. Now, according to the people living in town, shepherds don't belong in town. But according to God, that's exactly where they belong, because they belong in his family. They belong in his presence. And here we learn there's not a person living on this earth that God does not desire to have be a part of his family. Through faith, God calls each and every one of us as his own dear children. We all belong. The shepherds come into town, and they find the stable cave, and just so you know, because I know we have all diff we all have different images in our heads of how this looks, and you think of a, a stable, and that's going to be outside of town, but most likely, these stable caves, for the most part, were attached to the house, and so most likely, this is like the equivalent of a garage, <laughs> uh, an attached garage to someone's house, and so most likely, they're coming into town and they find jesus and it's just like the angel said wrapped in swaddling claws lying in a manger and what is their reaction they don't stay in that nice warm stable cave instead they go back outside and they start making quite the commotion running up and down the streets telling everyone they can find the good news that the savior is born and then it says in verse 20, they go back to the fields glorifying and praising God. As I said, there's not a single person living on this earth who God does not desire to have be a part of his family. You belong. And as one who through the gift of faith has been made a member of God's family, what is your response? You share the good news with others. You glorify and praise God for all he has done for you. So far, the Christmas story, this is the traditional part we're familiar with, but Luke gives us a little bit more of the Christmas story we'll have tomorrow. Let's pray. Lord God, Heavenly Father, Lord, we again thank you for your great love for us, shown to us through the birth of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, who would grow up to save us from our sins by dying on the cross to save us from death itself by rising from the grave. Lord, as we prepare to celebrate Christmas, we pray that you would remind us of why it is that we celebrate. Remind us, Lord, and help us to celebrate your great love for us, shown to us in Christ. In your name we pray. Amen. All right, again, I pray that you stay warm and stay safe. Pray God's blessings on your day. Hope to see you tomorrow.